La Fabian. You really got me on my reaction to Shu Sui Malad. And yeah, I, I was crying a lot when I watched that. Also, uh, that was shown in French television. So, um, <laughs> I can't imagine how many people who have no idea who I am have, have uh, who have watched me cry. That's uh, a weird situation, actually. But anyway, I love La Fabian. She is, I find her energy and way of being extremely intriguing. I really like her. And her voice is so like safe and beautiful. She makes me. She she's really such a storyteller. Uh, I can really see that Dimash is uh, very inspired, uh, inspired and and fond of her. I totally get why. So today I will watch of Broken Vow, which one of my Patreon had asked me to do. Eric, Grady, thank you. You can also join the Patreon if you want to support the channel or you have a specific wish to a song you would like to do. And also I will do future live streams, but I want to gather some more people so we can have some, some interaction and conversations doing the live streams on the Patreon. I will link it down below if you want to have a look at it. Anyway, I just want to get right into it and you can also subscribe and like. That's always an option if you feel like it. So let's get, let's see what Lara has for us. And I did bring some napkins. And yes, it is toilet paper, but it works very well as napkins. Here we go. I truly believe it's impossible to explain how you genuinely write a song. Something happens that I can't say with words. It's like something crosses my body. A melody comes out of me, and then suddenly that melody speaks. There is something magical about that. There is something you can't explain that goes through you like a storm, like a, something blossoming, like, like why are we here and breathing and alive? I don't know that. I just know that when that happens, and you really get that inspiration, it can't be replaced by anything. Thank you. I would like to finish this very special moment with a special song. And I like to put myself back into that moment where there was a hundred musicians, a wonderful conductor, and one of those songs that I, I believe you don't write often in your life. The song is a special song. It talks about betrayal, but it talks about forgiveness. I hope you're going to like it. It's called Broken Vow. <laughs>
first of all, uh, the song was beautiful. It was really emotional. Sorry, it was really emotional and a bit of a bit sad in the beginning, but then uh, there was this kind of little release in the in the end. That was a beautiful journey, and I loved the little interview, the little piece of interview that was in the beginning, where you can hear um, how Lara feels about the process of writing a song. Uh, that was just. Uh, yeah, that was fun uh, to hear her and you can really feel her deep passion for being an artist and creating. So that was lovely. And also I just felt like her voice was just extraordinarily gorgeous. Uh, again, she has this clearness, this... I feel so... I feel so safe when she's performing, like, uh, in that in that manner that she, she knows exactly what to do with her voice. It's so controlled. But it's not like in a stiff or boring way, but in a way that she is telling her story and she, her instrument, her, her voice is so well trained and so sophisticated that she can do what she wants with it. It's not like a problem. It's her voice is not uh, in the way of her expressing herself as she wants. She's just using it and as the tool to convey this beautiful message, and it was amazing. And also just a little de small de detail uh, when she suddenly like turned around and walked away and then she dramatically walked the other way. It was like, usually uh, I feel, feel like a few people could do that without it being awkward off or too much or actress like. But when she did it, she just has a way of like uh, transforming when she starts having a performance. Also the smooth and classy way she was uh, presenting the song and then she just went into the zone and started performing. Amazing. And this was so <sighs> enjoyable and it was sad and it was happy and it was so many things and I really appreciate how uh, she performs. It's really extraordinary and again she has such a radiant classy energy. Um, so I, even though the song was sad and I felt like emotionally affected in that way, I couldn't help smiling because it was just so, it was just so genuinely enjoyable to just watch her perform. And she's so good at it. I was like, oh, just the thought of being able to watch her uh, live. I have to do that at some point. Um, yeah, beautiful song. Oh, her voice is just like butter. No matter like what corner of her voice she's getting into, or what technique she uses, it's just have the silky, um, extremely feminine, steady, steadiness to it. I have so much respect for her singing technique. I mean, it's flawless. Okay, so um, let me know what you thought about this. If you can recognize my anything of what I'm saying. Uh, also, I need to know if somebody have uh, ever watched her perform live and. If this is a perfect example of how she performs live or uh, how it has been for you, if you have been that lucky. Um, yeah, let's just have a, a chat in the comment section about the whole performance and also what you thought about like her voice and also the details of how she's creating this story um, and how she like moves around on stage. She also has this very special way of leaning forward when she sings, but still she doesn't sound contracted. I'm, I'm very impressed by it. I'm very impressed. <sighs> and thank you for recommending me this, Eric. Um, and yeah, you can also recommend something on Patreon. Uh, and yeah, I just want to say thank you so much. And I hope that I'll see you very soon. Bye. I love you.